guess what? It's that time of year, putting up the tree, getting up the decorations in October. Brilliant. So because that's happening, I've got my Christmas hat on, my Christmas jumper on. I'll just show you my little Christmas jumper. Uh, what does it say on here? Mi oh, Miss Selfie. <laughs> Miss Selfie. Anyway, hello, welcome. So we are, I've got the, as you know, we've got the tree up, right? And I've been dying to just to dress it and I'm really, really going to do it. So we're going to do it now. I've put the lights on and I thought to get us in a Christmas spirit, you know, hat on, just, do you know what I nearly said? School jumper. Why did I think of school jumper? Christmas jumper. This is what I wear Christmas morning. On comes my little Christmas jumper. Come downstairs, open a bottle of champagne. Um, Sean does the cooking. We have nice Christmas breakfast. By lunchtime, we're all peed as puddings. Excellent. Anyway, I've already poured myself a drink and it's in the hallway. So go and get yourself a drink. I'm going to see you in the hallway because I'm going to start. Actually, no, I'm going to start here because I've started what I'm going to do. I've started to cut some deco mesh and I'm going to fill in. I'm starting with, and I'll show you when we go out there. I'm going to start with filling in the back part of the, no, not the back part of the tree, the middle part of the tree. Filling it out because I don't want to see the stem. Because, you know, that's a lovely tree for, and it's really good money for value, but it is a bit sparse. So we need to fill it in the gaps. So I've got some silver deco mesh. It's not very big and it's actually, it's not deco mesh. This is that tool, tool, couldn't get me words out. Tule, T -U -L -E, T-U-L-E, tool, is that how you pronounce it? It's that. So it's very light and flimsy. But all I've done, I just want to put it on the deco mesh just to give it a little bit of sparkle because I haven't got... Have I got, I have got silver deco mesh, what am I talking about? So I can put silver deco mesh, but I'm just using this for now. Um, and I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. So I'm just gonna cut a few bits of these. Oh God, it's catching on my jumper now. Um, I'm only doing 10 inches. You can't see me, can you? Shall I bring it down a bit? If I go like that, right? So you can see, I'm only, yeah, I'm literally doing about 10 inches. And then we'll do a few of the tool. Tool or tool, wherever you want to say it. And you know, I've had a few messages about doing Chris, the, the bows, what I've been doing. So we'll do a bow as well. I, I'm seriously not very good at the bows. I, honestly, I'm really, really not. I try. It does take me a long time. Um, I can't do them quickly like, like everyone else can do them. I'm quite um, quite slow. Right, okay, so there's some, we've got some of those going on. Now let's do a bit of this chewel, or whatever you call it. Hang on, let's put that down, I'll be safer. Let's spread a little bit out. And I'm doing roughly the same. This is much easier to work with. It don't curl up, it's just very fine. We'll just do a few of them. I mean, you can use your scissors and cut it, but while I've got this out, we might as well use this, mightn't we? Hey, guys. Right, we'll just do a few more. And then we'll go in the hallway, right? Let's put the top lid back on. Okay, so... I've got some of this, we've got our pipe cleaners. Let's just take it all in. Uh, let's take that, 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 scissors. And I'll take my hairband because if I have to take my hat off, I'll put my wrist for a minute, then um, I'll put my hair up. So let's go ignore the mess. <laughs> it's an absolute mess out here. Now, I'm gonna put you guys, on the table here, right? Now I'm not on my big massive stand, actually I think I might go and get it though, but just quickly, see the back, see the tree? 
Now these little lights, they look actually look like they're they're blue, but they're not. They're actually cut that cool white, and they're the ones that I bought from um home bargains. And they are cool white. There's a thousand lights on there. And and what was they 24.99 or 29.99? I've covered the whole tree and I've got lots. Yeah, I've walked into the bed. <laughs> um, I've got lots left because I've got me out to protect the head. I've got quite a lot left over. And what I'm going to do, I've chucked them down behind the tree. I'm going to bring the tree forward, right? I've chucked them down behind the tree. Right, I've got a whole bunch. Oh, for Christ's sake. No, it is. It's this flipping things on here. I've got a whole bunch here. Now, I'm doing a garland for somebody, that, hence why this one's on here, and I've got to decorate it. Once I've done that, I'm going to put mine up, and I'm going to use this to come down the stairs. So I've got quite a bit left over. So that's just going to sit in the corner for now. And I'll just show you how I do, when I do, I don't like seeing all the wires from the, um, the lights. So I try and tuck them in as much as possible and wrap them around the branches so that they're tucked in and you can't see it so much. But it can't be helped, it can't be helped. If I come a bit closer, let me look on that camera there, hold on. Oh, I'm just checking to see if you can see what I can see. Anyway, so we've got that up. I'm gonna do a tree topper. I know you can't see it because of the camera's at a funny angle, but we're gonna do the tree topper as well. Maybe not today. Maybe we'll see what time we've got left. Um, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to start filling in at the back part. You see here where my hand is? Actually, I'm going to get the other stand. Hold on a minute. Right, wait a minute. I'm coming. I'm going to bring this stand and I'm going to put you right next to it. You know what? All the dust coming off of this snow stuff on the tree is making my nose itch. I'll probably start sneezing in a minute. Right, let's just swap my camera. A minute right okay so top we're going to do the tree topper then we're going to start filling in the gaps i might take this out off in a minute because this bit is flying around the place anyway let's have a drink cheers i slurped there sorry mm. that's my version of a tequila sunrise <laughs> Anyway, let's crack on. Um, so, where's my deco mesh? So I've just chucked it on the floor for a minute. And I'm just doing that curl. Because I can roll it in my hands. I don't need to stand on the board and squash it all up like that. I can do it in my hands. Like this. Right. She says. Let's start again. Get a bit of the tulle. Hang on. And again, I'm literally just scrunching that up in the middle. See, this is where I need a little tabletop. Once I get my little table, you see, I could have brought it out here and shoved it on there. And that's all I'm doing is just putting it like this. So you've got a tiny little bit of shimmer and I'll, I'll do some silver as well. Um, and then I've got some pipe cleaners. And I'm just going to cut the, some of the pipe cleaners in half. I need my other scissors, actually. Right, so we're going to do this. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a couple. Then I'm going to put you on that fast time be, because, you know, I don't want to bore you. And I'm slow at doing this because my, I've just, as you know, my hands are not very good. Can't get very good grip. And I'm using pop white pipe cleaners, I was going to say pipe cleaners, we know, and there's my little curl, yeah, right, so um, I've got some gaps here, so I'm literally going to pull one of the, one of the uh, stems down and tuck it in the back and tie it round, now this video could be a long one, um, but let's see how we go with it. So, and then what we'll do, we'll put them in and then we'll fluff them up after. Okay, so I'll do a couple more. 
Then I'll put it on a time lapse. And then open that up. Yeah, I'll definitely need a little table out here. Alright, there's my bit of pipe cleaner gone. That I've just flipping well cut. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's bring a little tray out here. Shove that in the middle. Oh, this is our one where we do the Chinese burn, isn't it? Switching it round. And someone left me a comment saying they used to call them also Indian burns. And I've never heard of that. Indian burns, I've only ever had Chinese burns. A Chinese burn. Um, okay, I think we'll do another one kind of around this side maybe. Now I think we'll keep it a bit under here for the minute because this is quite a big gap. So we're tight around the bottom bit here. I'm not going to really tight tight because later on if I step back and I don't like it, it's a mission to try and untangle it and get it off, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to do it loosely. So loosey goosey baby, loosey goosey. <laughs> right, and then we fluff everything else around it. So I'm going to put you on the time lapse and I'm going to do some more of these. Um, in fact, I'm going to go and do them in the kitchen. Go and do them in the other room. Let's grab them Ooh, and the pipe cleaners. All right, and we'll go back in there. Let's go, Tesco. And we'll stand here and do it. All right. Now, you let me know. Hang on a minute, guys. Let me just see if I can get that down a little bit. I know you can't see my face, but you know, I bet you're not worried about that, are you? And um, I'll do a bit of a time lapse and we'll all carry on. Chinese burn. And then the wrap. Then, then the chill. Chill, chill. And then I need to cut some of these up again. So hold on a minute. Right, so I've cut some up, brought them out here now, and I'll carry on filling. Now, I'm not going to be doing the back because obviously it's against the back. So literally, the back of the tree, which I forgot to tell you, all I do, because it's at the back, the branches were sticking out like that, I fold them up. So they're literally coming, standing up that way, if you know what I mean. There's no point having them, God's sake, you might take me out of them in a minute. There's no point having them sticking out because then your tree's going to be out here. So, you know, I, I literally put, buff them all up so they're a little bit flatter, but I don't push them right against um, the wall because I, like, I want to be able to get around it. So that's what I do. But, you know, everyone's different, do different things. So I'm going to put some more in here. I'm sorry if I've got my back to you. Actually, I might need to make these a bit thicker. I think this size is okay for this part of the tree. And then as we get down bigger, I think we need to be bigger. Um, what's it? These things. So I'm going to put some up here. This is where I do need a little step, a little step ladder. Let's get some more. Anything with this deco mesh, it gets caught on everything, doesn't it? Look, it's got caught on this flipping tool. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to go right up here because I'm going to have the tree topper and I'm going to have tails going to come down in the middle here. So I'm not going to go right the way up there. Put some more in here. This side. 
we won't do this whole video guys today like do, decorate this tree because it will just take too long so we'll do it in parts all right we'll see what the time is when i'm getting through this bit uh, I've got some wound here. Oh, I'm going to take this hat off because I'm bashing into there. So one minute, and I'm going to put me at me me hat on. I just took it off. The um, the hairband. In a minute. Okay, let's get me hairband on. Oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, we definitely, definitely need, they need to be thicker. Because I really want them to stand out. But we'll keep going around the top bit for the minute. And see what it looks like. We might not even like this. I've not done this, this before. I've had ribbons on my tree. But I've not had deco mesh. So this is a bit trial and error. So let's put a bit in this gap in here. Sorry if I'm going quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Me, Sean to say, you concentrate. Do you know the name? Do you know what that word means? Right, put another bit in here, and then I'll put a bit of white in here as well, because I want to break the colour up. Uh, oh, I've got a couple more out there. Where have I put a white one in here? Mm, no, I'm not sure about that, that bit. I need to stand back, guys. Hold on. Here. Like that. And then I need to fluff them up. Definitely, definitely need fluffing. Right, we've got a couple more. And I've got a couple round. See, really, again, there's no point in putting them around there because you're not going to see them. one here because you will see at the side here so we'll put one in there like that I'm liking it I'm liking it don't want one in there because of the uh, tree topper it's going on there so the colours I've got out here are going to be whites, silvers, um, white, silver, very, very pale, you know, not that pale greeny colour. I've got some, I've got some, yeah, hold on, wait a minute, I'm here. I've got some of these. It's got very tiny, slight shimmer of greeny colour around there, um, which will look really pretty. So... That's the colours we've got out here. Let's put another one in here, I think. Oh no, let's put one in this gap here. Like that. I think we might need to bring that down a bit. Right, we've got another couple guys to go. I'm gonna do some fluffing. Put another one in here. No, we won't put it in there. Just in there. Because although I'm not having anything on the back of the tree, I still want something showing through. So, because otherwise, if I don't put anything at the back, and there's gaps there, which is what obviously what I'm trying to fill in. 
So if there's any gaps there, I will put maybe a couple of bits right on the inside of the back of the tree, if that makes sense. And then if you look through, you won't see the wall, then you'll see the decorations on the other side. So we're kind of getting there with the top part. I think we need another one here. Oh, where's my tail got to go? Oh, no, it can go in there. Like that. And then we can start playing around with it a little bit. Right, now that's looking good. Let's turn the light off and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Pretty. Very, very pretty. Camera doesn't do it justice. You probably can't see it as well as I can close up, but it, it's looking good. That little bit here is looking good. Then I'll trim them bits off. Right, I think I might have to do some thicker bits, like coming coming down. So I'm going to whiz in there and do that. I'm going to put you put you on a pause for a minute while I go and do some more because, you know, it might take me like five minutes to do all that and I'm just wasting time. So I'm going to go and do some more and then I'll be back and then we'll finish off some more. All right, so hold on a minute. Right, I've done some more, guys, but I've had a change of thought, change of heart. What I've done, hang on. All right, hang on, I'll show you in a minute. What I've done, I've, I've made little, hang on, I'll take one off so you can see it, because I don't think you can see it very well there. I've made little, out of that tulle, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Out of that tulle, I've made little, um, I don't know what you call them. See these little things? <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Little fluffy things. Um... And I'll show you how I did it in a minute. Um, yeah, so what I've decided to do, as I started playing around with this off camera, I've put in these on the end, they're like little bows. And I'm taking off the deco mesh, which you can see on the front, and I'm really putting it in the back. Because now when I see these little bows on there, I think they look really pretty. So that's my plan. So, oh, see, look, and it catches on this. Right, okay. So let's put that back on there for a minute, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna we'll go in the other room in a minute, and I'll show you how I how I did this. Eat dead easy, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. Dead easy, but they actually look really pretty, stuck right on the end of the of the little sprigs. So I'm starting to take the deco mesh off the one the one what you can see i'm still using it as i say i'm pushing it right in I'm not going to do so much around the top because i say i want the the swag to come down not the side the tree topper so i do want a bit of deco mesh right in there but i don't want it to be really prominent on show if you get my drift so i want to tuck it right the way kind of back so it's just, you can just see it, if that makes sense. And then these little, what can we call these? Fluffy pom -pom, no, not pom-poms, because pom-poms are what you make out of um, wool, isn't it? When you tie them around, I remember doing them at school, when you had a bit of card, got the wool and you tied it around, tied it around, then you put pipe cleaner in the middle and then cut the ends and you made a little ball. What can I call these? Um, puffs. Poofs, chill poofs. They're like a little fluffy bow, if you like. So let's put these, no, that one's all right in there. Uh, that's okay in there. So I need to kind of pull up, but that's it. That's see, it's, look it's looking better already, just taking a couple of these out. Because I've bought these too far forward and they really need to go back further. That's a good job. I didn't tie them so tight. Um, you see, that one's too long. So I'm going to put the longer bits, tuck them right in the back here. Like that, that's it. 
Yeah, these are too long to be up here. I need to go down the bottom a bit. So, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll come up and move the camera in a second. Oh, blimey, I'll get down. I can't get back up again. Right, yeah, let's get that one off of there. Chuck, let's chuck these on the floor for a minute because I'm going to be bending down there anyway. Then I'll go, I'll shift the camera down there. God, I'm so pleased I didn't tie them up tight. Right, that's a bit better. Let's push that in. Okay, let's get all these off. Right, I told you this might be a bit of a mission, a bit of a long one. Right, that can go back in, that's better. Okay, that can go back in there. You know what, because the deco is prickly, you ain't even got to tie it around the pipe cleaners. You literally can push it into the back amongst the twigs, the branches, and just shove it in and it will stay there because it's like it clings onto it. Um, so you ain't even got to do that. You only need the pipe cleaner to keep it to you know, so uh, don't unravel. Right, let's just put my hair back again and then we'll carry on. And then we'll go in the other room in a minute, in the front room, and I'll do show you where I did those um, little poofs. One minute. Let's keep going a bit. I kind of like this 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 winter wonderland look. It's proper pretty, and I'm so pleased with this tree. I really, I can really, I really recommend this tree. It's such good value, and you could no matter what how scrawny your tree is, you go and get some of that. In fact, that tool here was cheaper than deco mesh. Get a roll of that from somewhere on Amazon, or I think I've got mine on Amazon. And fill in all your gaps, and your tree will look nice and full. Catching on that tool, is it? Um, a minute. We'll keep going down here. Let's put a bit on the back here. And I, I think as well, also, you know, like when you get your tree out, and you put it up and you put all your lights on and you fluff it all out which I've done as well got it out put the lights on then fluffed it out but when you're putting all your decorations on it I find that the branches are better when they're not fluffed out then put your decorations on then fluff it fluff it out because then you can fluff it around each decoration what you've got or ornament or whatever you've got on there that's how I prefer to do it, but actually, I did fluff this out a bit, to be honest. This looking good. Uh, let's get that one out. Okay. Let's come down here a little bit. Yep, I'm down here. Let's, I'll tip this forward a little bit. Right. So right the way through the middle, you can just see the deco mesh. Let's get that one out. Uh, I think we can put that, no, we can't put that in there. Let's come a little bit further down. You can probably put these on every single branch, right at the back, all the way down the middle actually because there's plenty there to do that remove that one and then shove that there like that and then put that there and there like that and then i can fluff these bits up right okay let's take that one out of there and have a look, where are we at the bottom there somewhere? Yep, yeah, there's a space down here. Get that in there. Shove that in. And 
then I think we're getting there. I think we are getting there. It's looking pretty. Yeah, loving it, absolutely loving it. So, I don't really want to fluff it all up now, but when I get that one out, and we come down a bit further, there is another one in there. That one's got one on it. And then we we'll probably have to work our way right to the bottom, because I think, Oh, kind of. Yeah, some more there, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right. So, I'm going to do a little bit more of those little poof bowls. Poof bowls? <laughs> poof, poofs. Poofy, um... If there's a name for this, this style, let me know, because I'm really, really not sure. They're like little, they are like little pom-pom things. Right, so let's go in the other room. Let's bring that forward a little bit. No, I would love to to be, I don't know what you would call them, but I'd love to go go around people's houses, not now obviously because of what's going on, and do their trees for them. I'd love to do that. I'd have a field day, go around and decorate all their trees. There must be people who do that kind of job, do you think? Interior designers, I suppose. Right. So... Okay, let's stop fiddling for a minute. Oh no, I've got that there, I can't have that there. That's got to come out. Uh, let's find another one around here somewhere. Yeah, there the bottom. Oh yeah, I've got loads down there. Right the way down the bottom. <laughs> right, we're gonna go back in the other room. See this, this I t honestly, this will take me hours to do this. A whole day, I could spend a whole day doing this because I, f I mess about with it, I decorate it, I take it off. If I don't like it, I put it back. I f I'm fiddling about with it all the time. So this video will be over a course of a few days. And then I'll just ma amalgamate it, consolidate it down into one thing. Now since doing that video last week, and, and I'm going to upload it tonight. Um, I've moved that tree into the other room because <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that one maybe Wednesday and I'll show you where I am with that, all right? So anyway, guys, have a nice evening and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Cheerio.